Can Darius Slayton be the number one wide receiver for the Giants in the 2023 NFL season? We're going to break that down in today's show. You're watching New York Giants now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green, and there's been a lot of talk about the Giants' pass catchers throughout the offseason. They made a big acquisition by adding Darren Waller as a tight end, and I think he's going to act more as a wide receiver this year. Giants are going to spread and line up Dar uh, Darren Waller a lot outside. And I even think we're going to get a lot of Darren Waller outside and Daniel Bellinger attached in line. But in today's show, we're going to break down the idea of Darius Slayton being the top guy at the wide receiver position for Big Blue. And we also have some quotes from Darius Slayton, as well as Bleacher Report, saying that he is the most underrated receiver in the National Football League. Before we dive into that, though, if you guys could, I would appreciate it if you shared this video. We're trying to get more eyeballs on this channel as we ramp up for the 2023 NFL season we, where we are going to be doing watch parties for every single Sunday. So click the share button. Looks just like that below the video. Select Twitter, then click post to Twitter. And if you tag me, which my Twitter is at Marshall Green underscore, I'm going to give you a retweet and a follow back. So if you could, if you're a real one, share this video and tag me on Twitter. When you look at the Giants wide receivers right now, there's a whole bunch of bodies there, and there will still need to be some training camp and preseason battles to decide who the top six or seven guys are. We know Hodgins, Slayton, Campbell, Hyatt are all going to make the roster. Are Sterling Shepard and Wandale Robinson going to start the season on the pup? We don't know. Colin Johnson is fighting to make this roster. The Giants paid Bryce Four Wheaton a good bit of a signing bonus as a UDFA. Jeff Smith is a guy that they like in the special teams department. And Jamison Crowder is a savvy veteran that if Shepard maybe starts the season on the pup, they want a veteran in the slot, and that could be Crowder. So it's going to be a competition to make this roster at this position group. But who's going to be the top guy? That's the question I have in today's video which Giants wide receiver will have the most receiving yards this season? Who do you think? Drop their name down in the comment section. Bleacher Report, like we said, listed Darius Slayton as the number one most underrated receiver in the National Football League. They went on to write that even in an inconsistent Giants passing attack, though, Slayton has topped 700 yards in three of his first four seasons in the NFL as, and has provided a passer rating above 96 in two of them. What's really impressive about Slayton is his efficiency. This past season, he ranked fourth in the NFL in yards per target at 10.2, behind only A.J. Brown, Jalen Waddell, and Dallas Goddard, in one spot ahead of Tyreek Hill. Slayton also possesses a ton of upside, with good size at 6 foot 1, 190 pounds, and a 43940 speed. The key to unlocking that potential will be allowing Daniel Jones to stretch the field, which could be in the cards this season. And Darius Slayton, he's an explosive player. And the more you get Slayton the ball, the more explosive plays you're going to have. And we've talked about this time and time again on this channel. The goal for this Giants offense this year is to become more explosive. Push the ball down the field. When you look back at the 2022 season and you talk about who were the most explosive passing offenses, here are the top 10 when it comes to explosive pass plays. And if you notice, a lot of teams in this top 10 are some of the best teams in the National Football League. In fact, of the top 10 teams that had the most explosive pass plays, they won 11.4 wins on average out of 17 games played. And in total, they win 113 in 55. But when you look at the bottom 10, it's a problem. When you combine these records of the least explosive pass play offenses, you just get 5.9 wins per game. The Giants were the only team that made the playoffs of these 10 teams, and they were the second least explosive pass offense in the NFL. That's why they drafted guys like Jalen Hyatt and signed some or made a trade, excuse me, for Darren Waller, one of the most explosive tight ends in the NFL. Hyatt, the most explosive receiver coming out of college football. 
And Darius Slayton, he's an explosive guy too if you give him the chance and you throw him the ball downfield like the catch against the Jacksonville Jaguars this past year or the catch and run against the Houston Texans or the over routes against the Green Bay Packers. He had five catches this past year of more than 20 yards, three in 2021, six in 2020, and in his rookie year with Pat Shermer calling the plays, he had seven catches of more than 20 plus yards. He is a deep threat, no doubt about it, and you can tell that by yards per catch. Rookie year, 15.4 yards. 15 his second year, down to 13 in his worst year in his career in 2021, but back up to 15.7. And he had some good games for the Giants this year. Against Houston, he had three catches for 95 yards. Against Washington, six for 90. Against Detroit, he had five for 86. Green Bay, six for 79. Against Minnesota, four for 79. He was solid in the playoffs, too. Against Minnesota, he had four for 88. But it's the drops that sometimes hold Darius Slayton back. Just, he had seven drops this year, 12 drops in the last two years, whereas rookie year, he had his best year of his career, eight touchdowns and 740 yards, just two drops. I believe he's going to have a good season. I believe he could be one of the best receivers on this football team. We'll talk about some other stuff surrounding Slayton in just a quick second. But first, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. The offseason is here. But it's not the offseason for us here at New York Giants now by Chat Sports. We continue to grind it out and work hard and get you guys videos every day on Big Blue. So if that's what you're looking for and the best dang Giants coverage on YouTube during the season, subscribe to the channel and help us get to 30,000. Also, we're also giving you guys a deal. Go to chatsports.com slash Giants hat combo. That's chatsports.com slash Giants hat combo. And you're getting a t-shirt and a hat for less than $25. Take advantage of the deal. Chatsports.com slash Giants hat combo. That link is in the comments and description of today's video. One thing about Darius Slayton was you could kind of ignore the drops a little bit. And sometimes you could, you could understand the lows, right? Fifth round pick, not a lot of expectations. But he's a bag man now. He got paid. He got a good chunk of change from the New York Giants. So now you are expecting Darius Slayton to be a productive wide receiver. And that's something he can and has been. And I think he will continue to do that mainly because of the chemistry that Daniel Jones and Darius Slayton have. Ever since they came in together in their rookie year, Slayton and Jones have been best friends. The chemistry is awesome. You can see that they work really well together as a duo. I like the duo and the one-two combination of Slayton and Jones. They have found a way to get it done over and over again. And when you talk about a receiver and a quarterback, when they have good chemistry, when they're good friends, and they work together well, that's all you're looking for. Daniel Jones, he, sa he sings the praises of Slayton, and Slayton does the same for Daniel Jones. When you go to Dan Darius Slayton's Twitter, he's always fighting the trolls on Daniel Jones. Jones believes in Slayton, and Slayton believes in Jones, and they put the work in that really required, that's required to get the results that they want to achieve, and that's why I believe Slayton is going to have a big year. He thinks he's going to have a big year as well and said this. Slayton said, I believe in myself. I believe in my ability. I believe in the work I put in this offseason. Whether we add 10 guys, whether we add all of you guys, I believe I'll find my way on the field. And I got to give a huge shout out to Darius Slayton. There was a lot of talk about Slayton, myself included that thought he was going to be cut last year going to the 53-man roster. And he almost was cut. They had to come to a contract restructure because since he was drafted in that first round, he met a playtime incentive, got him a little bit of a pay raise. They put that down. They knocked that down so he could stay with the team. He was in an inactive player for game one, and he ended up being one of the Giants' best pass catchers this past season, and he got a contract. I salute that. I respect that. This dude could have been out of the NFL, and he's someone now that is a piece of this offense that we are hoping takes a big, big step in 2023. Show him some love down in the comment section. Type his jersey, number 86. I want to see 86 dancing in the end zone a whole lot this year. Show him some love right now. As always, I just want to say thank you, and I appreciate you guys for tuning in to New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. July, it's tough to get content for you guys. We are going to continue to just grind and get you guys everything you need to know about Big Blue. If you want to continue the conversation over on Twitter, 
hit me up at Marshall Green underscore.